Alrighty, so this video is going to cover adding goals on HCNet. So this is going to be your home page once you log into HCNet. Now this page will look slightly different on your end as this page currently that is up is showing more the admin side of things. But what you're going to want to do is go up to visits, click on the little visits tab underneath visits, and that'll take you to this page and then you're going to want to search uh, your patient. So let's just say we're searching a patient with the last name of Smith. We'll do a patient search and then say this is our patient, John Smith. We're going to go ahead and select him. And then, so we're adding goals. This is going to be the first thing you're going to have to do after you've completed your evaluation. So therapists will need to enter these prior to even putting in their evaluation note. So what you're going to do is come down here to assessments uh, and then you'll see orders, goals, DC plans. You'll go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to go ahead and go over here and click on this link here. And then you'll go ahead and scroll down. Now, whether you're a physical therapist or an occupational therapist or a speech therapist, you'll click, uh, you'll click if therapy is needed. Uh, I'm a physical therapist, so I'm going to click yes here and then I'll put they have good PT rehab potential. Sometimes uh, the nurses will click that for you when they open up this plan, sometimes not. So basically if you scroll down here you're going to see a bunch of different goals and you're going to want to select the goals uh, and orders and DC plans uh, that apply to your patient. So let's just go ahead and go up here and select a few. So let's say that I did the Tenetti balance uh, during my initial evaluation, and that's going to be one of my goals. So you're going to have to select an order. You're always going to have an order that you'll select. And then let's say uh, we want the patient to reach both of these goals. And then you'll also have to click a DC plan. So for each goal that you make, you'll have an order, a goal, and a DC plan that you'll have to select. Um, and then I always try to, you know, select at least, you know, uh, three different orders, goals, and DC plans, but um, it's obviously dependent on how your patient presents. So let's just go through here and select a couple. Uh, let's go down to transfers, let's select an order. Uh, patient will perform transfers independently, and then DC plan. So if you know, you're going through here and some of these goals don't really apply to your patient or if you you'd like to change them slightly, what you're going to do is actually, uh, let's do a gate distance goal here. So we'll select an order and then we'll go over here to edit and you'll click edit and then you'll just go in here. So say instead of 200 feet, you want 275 feet. So you'll change that both places here. Now you can completely change this goal and make it completely uh, different, but we'll just go ahead and change the feet here, and then we'll go ahead and add goal. And then it says this goal was successfully added, so we'll go ahead and scroll back down here. Um, let's see, gate distance, and there's our new goal. So we already have it selected, and for whatever reason, the orders got unselected, so you select that, and then you'll select DC plan. So let's say that's all the goals that we want for this patient. Uh, then all we'll have to do is just scroll back up to the top of the page and update orders, goals, DCs, plans. And then there you have it. Has been successfully updated. And then you'll be able to go back to your uh, screen and enter in your initial evaluation for the patient. All right, that's it.